Okay, so for the purpose of animating the spring, I borrowed a library which I found. I want to give the full credit to this person. Najam Saeed, Computer Vision Software Engineer Kitware Inc. And he has this module that he created called Spring, and he's got a very, very good write-up on it here on his GitHub page. The links will be in the video description below in case you can't read them. And the idea is you give a starting point and an ending point. You can say how many coils you want the spring to have and what the diameter of the spring is, and it figures out those points for you. So that's what this routine does, and it's beautifully written up. And I'm going to just use this, and I'm going to modify it a little bit for my own purposes. And the reason is this, that I'd like a little bit of a lead at the start and the end of the spring, so a little vertical piece at the top and a little vertical piece at the bottom. Uh, I'll call it lead one and lead two respectively at the start and end. Let's create a new file. I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to save it as spring.py. All right, done. And I've given the credit up top here to Najem Saeed. And I also wanted to make the point that this is what I've changed. I've added the ability to put in how long, and, and they can be different, how long a lead do you want at the start and the end of the spring? And then down here is where I added my magic. Really, that's all I added to the routine. And then at the end, I'm now returning, in addition to the coordinates of the spring, these points P1 and P2 which is an additional point that I've calculated to connect the lead to. And this should become obvious as I use it. Anyway, we won't need this routine anymore, but we will be accessing it. And what I'm going to do is build a spring class. Let me get rid of this so I don't confuse myself. So where do I want to build this? Okay, so under the mask class, I'm going to say class spring. I want to define the init function of this. And the spring, hmm, I guess in general, let's take a color. Uh, the starting point of the spring, the starting node, the location of the end node, uh, the width, and then what I called lead one and two. How long a lead, how long a straight part do you want before the coils? Right, and then... We just set these up internally. So self start equals start, self end equals end, self nodes equals nodes, uh, self dot width equals width, uh, self dot lead one equals lead one and self dot lead two equals lead two typo two typo uh, we'll make the weight of the spring three for we can always change that and then the color self dot color is equal to the color all right very good now we need to define an update function and we need to define a render function for the spring, just like we did with the mass. Okay, spring might be a little bit trickier, but we've got the points and we've got the mechanisms for calculating it. So first let's do the update routine. And for the update routine, you just need the start and end nodes. So you're given two nodes and based on those two nodes, right, point one and point two, or point two and point three, you need to calculate how to draw the spring. So the first thing we need to do is self.start is equal to start, and self.end is equal to end. So we want to update the start and end points of that object. And then, so let me go back to the spring routine. The spring routine is going to send the coordinates of the spring. So this is a list of X coordinates and a list of Y coordinates, and then the starting point as a tuple and the ending point as a tuple. 
self.x, self.y, okay? The x values and the y values are the coils and self.p1 and self.p2. Okay, and that's equal to, and I'm going to call the spring function. So what I need to do is import it, first of all. From spring, import spring. And I can call that function down here. And what do I want to put into it? Well, I want to put the start and the end nodes. I want to put the num number of nodes, which is self.nodes. We want the width of the spring or the diameter of the spring. And then self.lead, lead1, and self.lead2. I just want to show you this. Let me make it a bit smaller so I can fit it all in one screen. But that's what that looks like. I'm setting the start, the end node, the number of nodes, the width of the coils. That should be self.lead. Okay, let me blow it up again. Hopefully you can now read it. Okay, and then the other thing, the last thing I want to do here is I want to convert these to an integer. It would be int of self.p10 int of self.p11 and then I'm going to do the same thing for p2 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 okay and then we want to do the render method itself And really what I need to do is just draw all these little line segments. Pi game, draw line, screen, uh, self.color, self.start. We want to go from the starting node to, to P1. Self.white. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it. Okay, now I want to just draw all these points. I think for points, we want to zip these together. So point in zip x and y, self dot x, self dot y. We zip them together. And then pi game dot draw a line on the screen is self dot color. I'm going to say from the previous point to the point and self.weight and then what we're going to do here is say previous or pre what do i call a pre point equals point but i've got to do it up here too so i'd say here pre to begin with the previous point must just equal p1 okay that will work and then I've got to do all these other points, and then I've got to do the lead point at the end. So pi game, draw line, screen, self.color, and this will go from P2 to the end, I guess. Self.P2 to the end. And the weight will be self.weight. Okay, and I believe that's it for the render routine. And then all we need to do is create some spring objects. Let's do it here under the masses. So we'll say S1 equals spring. Uh, let's make them black. Hmm, well, let's just start them at 0, 0. It doesn't really matter because they're going to get updated anyway. And let's just give it some properties. 20 coils, uh, 50 diameter, and let's just say 30 and 30. Let's create another spring, call that spring 2, 
and we'll make it fewer coils, a little bit thinner. All right, let's try it like that. And then what we need to do is we need to update it in the update routine. So where is that? That's here. So we'll say S1 uh, update. And well, hold on a second. It's going to need some points to update. We need a start and an end point there. So what we need to do is put in that would be point one and point two. So spring one would be from point one to point two, and spring two would be from point two to point three. And then, of course, here, yes, spring one. Well, we should render the springs first so that they're behind the masses. Because if they're in the same place, I'd want the mass to be on top of it. And spring two. I think we're pretty good. Render, render the statics. Render routine. All right, let's try to run this. Invalid syntax. What did I do here? I right, defined the spring. Left out a comma. Oh, got the wrong number of arguments. So let's go to spring. In fact, what I don't have is the number of nodes. That's what's missing. Okay. Now we go. Super objects are callable. 49, I'm probably missing a comma there too. There we go. Self.p1. Looks pretty good. Let's do another quick test of this. I'm going to make initially this equal to zero. And then what we'll do is give it some forcing function here. Let's make this 10. And one final thing I want to do before we, we get done here is I just want to change the leads here. I found just from a bit of experimentation that 20, 70, 70, and 50 looks a little bit better aesthetically okay and let's run it and there you go it looks good to me i got the little flat spots on the springs that i wanted and um i think our animation is now complete that's all i'm going to say about this video thank you very much for watching i hope you found something useful in it if you did please help me out and go ahead and hit those like buttons or better still, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be notified of new releases. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you in the next one.